Okay, here is a test of the servo motor with a 3 to 1 speed reducer. It's being driven by a little circuit that generates step direction and able signals for it. I've got a protection circuit in here that is supposed to protect the power supply against uh, spikes and voltage generated by the motor. Those spikes can cre be created by running the motor beyond its spec uh, RPM limit, which is 3,000 in this case. Um, but the motor has, the driver here has built-in protection. When it sees the 3,000 RPM, it shuts the thing down and turns on an alarm. Uh, however, if it's running fast and it's suddenly stopped, uh, it will also generate a voltage spike, and that is the type of voltage spike that I'm trying to protect against. Um, so, if, for example, if you made a mistake and ran the mechanism into the end of an axis at high speed, um, that kinetic energy of the motor has to go somewhere, and it gets converted to electrical energy, which is in the form of a spike on the supply line. The protection circuit... Um, dumps that extra energy into this big white resistor here. Um, so let me uh, run the motor and right now I've got the meter set to capture the min and max voltages. Um, it's a little noisy because the probes are just kind of hanging on there but it'll it'll get us where we want to go. Um, now the motor is running very fast and if it suddenly stops, you can see the voltage is reading 31.2 volts. I've got a 24 volt power supply driving the whole thing. So um, the power supply, this protection circuit, um, prevents the power supply from ever seeing that spike. Um, let me uh, move the probes over to the power supply and we'll do the same thing and see what kind of uh, spike shows up on the power supply line. Okay, so I've moved the probes over to the power supply. It's reading about 23.9 volts. We'll run the motor. Let me set this to capture the min and max. And you can see 23.9, the pulse that was on, that the protection circuit was picking up was around 32 volts. It never gets back to the power supply. No change in the reading now. So the power supply and anything that's connected to the protection circuit um, get protected from spikes generated by the motor.